Hi guys, welcome back to Guru Beauty. Today it's my August beauty favorites. I'll get started right away. I wanted to share with you how much I've been really enjoying my Embryolisse skincare products that Sani sent from Paris. Embryolisse is available in Australia from Scotty's Makeup. It's a website and also a store in New South Wales. I think it's in Glebe. I'll put a link to Scotty's Makeup down below, but just to let you know, if you are going to Sydney IMATS this year, Scotty's Makeup will be there, and I'm guessing, going by history, that Embryolisse will be available at about 20% off. I've really been enjoying, first of all, the standard Embryolisse Cream Concentrate Moisturizer. This does contain some oils. My dermatologist has recommended I do not use oils on my face, so I am going against her advice, but I am really enjoying this product just to bring some moisture back to my face. So I've been alternating my prescription retinoid every second night and then using this every second night. I have been flying a bit too and I've been using this after flying and I feel like it's really helped bring some moisture back into my face. So I do really enjoy that and have been using this one at night. And then the Hydromat for normal and mixed or combination skin. I've actually been using this one in the morning sometimes before I put on my primer for the day. I have used this as a primer as well and it's just quite a nice product. I am really enjoying that. Lastly, for skincare, I've really been enjoying this Mario Badescu drying lotion. I got it from Kit Cosmetics in Maya and it's $26.95. This is for drying up acne as soon as it comes up. They were sure to tell me in the store that this is not good for cystic acne. But basically as soon as you see a spot coming up, you dip a cotton ball into this product. You can see that it is duo layer. It's got like a calamine lotion sediment in the bottom and then like an alcohol component on the top. You do not shake this bottle. You leave that just like that. You stick a cotton bud, clean cotton bud, right down into the product, draw it back up, and the cotton bud itself then has the calamine lotion on the tip with the alcohol soaked swab. And basically you spot any spots that are coming up and I found this is just marvelous. In the morning, most items have gone. I do also use it the second night if I need it and I find that it's really prevented any odd breakouts. Really have been enjoying this and at $26.95 I think this is going to last a long time. I did get this after a recommendation from my friend Ms. Goddess in training or Aish from Melbourne. Thank you so much Aish for letting me know about this. I have been really enjoying it and would definitely recommend it. Also another primer that you can pick up from Priceline. This one from Maybelline they do have one in a pot as well that I have not tried but this is the instant age rewind primer skin transformer and this comes out just like one of those clear silicone type products you can see it there on my hand and as you rub it out it just sort of helps to fill in the pores fill in fine lines helps makeup go on smoothly but then I have found that there is a bit of an oil mattifying component for this I feel like it really has helped a little bit with oil throughout the day and I've really been enjoying this base here from Maybelline on to another product that I've really been enjoying, and I spoke about this in the whole video that I posted recently showing this. This has fast become one of my holy grail daily foundations. I am in the middle of editing this review and demonstration of this product. It's probably the next video that will be up, but it's the Garnier Miracle Skin Perfector BB Cream, and it is very different to the original. Most people with oily to combination skin did not enjoy the original. This is completely different. It is specifically for combination to oily skin. I have it in the light and the medium. I currently am using it in the light. I add a bit of bronzer at the end and it's a perfect match for me and my neck right now. I'm at my fairest as I am in the winter. Love this product. Excellent coverage, stays beautiful throughout the day, great on my pores. I still do use it with a primer and I set with a powder. I thoroughly recommend this and it's the closest thing I've ever had to my Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua Foundation. Retailing for less than $14 here at Priceline, Target, Supermarkets, wherever you can find Garnier. I would thoroughly, with two thumbs, recommend this product for anyone. If you've tried the original, don't let that phase you. This is a completely different product and I am really, really enjoying it. Definitely give this one a try. Also, I've really been enjoying this little brush from EcoTools. I picked up this in a set of four little mini kabukis from iHerb.com. I think you can get these from Priceline, wherever you can find EcoTools in Australia, but I bought it for less than $10, I think it was at iHerb. 
iHerb.com. I always post my link, my referral code to iHerb down below in my videos for Real Techniques brushes, Eco Tools brushes, as well as Physicians Formula products that are not being marketed in Australia, or for Physicians Formula products that we can get in Australia but at American retail pricing. They have super fast shipping if you choose the DHL option and excellent American prices. Really impressed and my code will get you 5 to $10 off your first order depending on whether you spend less or more than $40. But this is a fantastic little pointed kabuki brush. Sigma has one with a longer handle but I like that this is small it fits in my drawer easily with my concealers I've been using it just to apply my concealers under my eyes really been enjoying it this would be perfect with the Soleil Tan de Chanel as well the fact that it is synthetic it does have a taper and it's also nice and dense as well so you're getting nice good coverage and the ability to blend out nicely with that shape as well concealer I've really been enjoying this month is from Urban Decay you can get Urban Decay from various websites I would recommend beautybay.com free international shipping and you're paying close to US recommended retail don't forget that they do add on state tax onto the price Prices that we hear about them paying beautybay.com you don't add tax onto that so this is the Urban Decay 24 7 concealer pencil now this is the shade DEA and I've been wearing DEA under my eyes really really creamy really really smooth beautiful I'll take it with me for touch-ups the one thing I don't like about this big fat pencil is that you do need a sharpener and I find that when you're sharpening really creamy products like this you do lose quite a bit of the product in the sharpener itself but I would recommend these Urban Decay concealer pencils they are beautiful and creamy and lovely and available in quite a wide range of colors and while I'm on the subject of sharpening fat pencils I've really been enjoying this pencil sharpener from Kit Cosmetics this one was sent to me by the PR company but it does have a large and a small hole for sharpening and what I do really like about this product is that it closes up completely you can see it's got little flaps that sit over the holes this whole rubber bit does actually come off for easy cleaning which is great but I love the fact that it's a completely closed sharpener if you are going to take this for traveling in your makeup bag or in your handbag no sharpenings can escape anywhere out of the holes which will often happen it's just a mess free option for sharpening your pencils and you can sharpen your NYX jumbo crown size pencils in this side it's just a beautiful sharp clean sharpen as well with your pencils so I do really like this I really enjoy that and the convenience and how clean it stays in your handbag so I wanted to let you know about that also I had to mention this one to you this is what I'm wearing in my brows right now it's the Revlon brow fantasy and I mentioned this probably in last month's video or a recent favorites video but as a miss I've been using the medium brown I think and it's just been too light for my eyebrows the gel has just shown up terribly it's shown up flakily in my eyebrows and I've got it in the dark brown pencil now I don't believe you can find this in Australia and I'm not even sure of a website where you can get this but for anyone who can access the Revlon brow fantasy pencils I did just want to let you know that I am enjoying the darker shade a lot better it doesn't look anywhere near as flaky in my brows and I'm quite enjoying it it still doesn't fix the problem that I have with the packaging that the plastic lid if you do pack it in your handbag or take it with you in a makeup bag this often comes off the pencil also is quite short so you can only get down to about half the pencil before you can't get your sharpener down any further so that's a bit of a waste of product but I do like the fact that it's got the pencil on one end and then the gel on the other to set your eyebrow I'm enjoying this one in dark brown last eye product is from matte I'm not sure if this is part of the permanent range or if it's just sort of hanging around for a while but it's been available in my matte counter for months and months and months so I do want to mention to you it is the mineralized eyeshadow duo in this and that so you can see there that it's got two shades and I really like this for every day basically these are the two shades here on my arm you can see it's just a matte white a really nice bright matte white and then a shimmery sort of pinky champagne shade that's probably not showing up on on my hand as well as I would hope you can see it just there with the shimmer but beautiful product I mean I just have this on my counter every single day I've got the white for my brow bone or inner corner I'll sometimes pop that on my lid over my NYX jumbo eye pencil and then that really nice shimmery champagne color again really nice for an inner corner highlight or all over the lid with a medium brown just blended in for a really super quick daytime look really like that duo one brush to tell you about this month as well that I'm really in 
enjoying Makeup by Iman. She's a YouTuber here and has her own line of brushes that she is selling. I picked these up quite a while ago. Her line of brushes is called the Mint Brushes and I love this. This is the number 20. Her range is always growing, adding more brushes into her line. I think shipping wasn't too bad but I really like this one. I've got a couple of them. It's one of those beautiful tapered crease brushes. This is one of the softest ones that I have. It's absolutely beautiful and just gorgeous for the crease and the outer V as well as even underneath the eye. I love this. I will post a link to her brushes down below. I'm not affiliated with her or her brushes in any way but do want to let you know about her brushes which are only available for ordering online. A nail product I really really loved this month is from Ulta 3. You Aussies would know Ulta 3 as one of those nail colors that you can pick up probably in pharmacies also petrol stations for only a couple dollars I think a bottle but this is one of my favorite shades for the month and this is in the shade Dusty Rose. I'm not wearing it today but you can see it's just a beautiful sort of peachy shade with a bit of a shimmer. It's just beautiful. It's a really nice way of wearing a nude with just a little bit of interest because it's got that peachiness and that shimmer. It's a really pretty color and I would recommend you picking it up. It's Ulta 3 in Dusty Rose rose. Two lip products I wanted to tell you about. I've really been enjoying this lip gloss that I bought from Savvy. I picked up three and showed them in a recent haul. This one is one that I've sort of taken with me on travel and had it in my handbag so I've worn this most out of all three. This is in the shade Beige Beauty and you can see it there on the edge of my hand. It's just a really nice shade to pop over most colours of lipstick. It'll tone down something really bright. It looks beautiful on its own. It's not really sticky and it actually has a reasonable staying time. And of course, as you know, Savvy available from Priceline, really not that expensive at all. So I do really like this beige beauty lip gloss from Savvy. And then the last lip product that I wanted to show you is from Enoxa. I had my six-year-old with me shopping at Priceline one day and she loves to swatch on her hand because guess what she sees her mother doing. But she was swatching all these different lipsticks on her hand. She always goes for the brightest colors when she's choosing her favorites in the store. But this is one that she actually swatched. She said it was her favorite and she really wanted me to buy it. She thought it would look really nice on me. And it's the Inoxa Lovely Lips Lipstick in the shade Periwinkle. And I think I've worn this in a recent video, but it's beautiful. It's just a really lovely, opaque, creamy formula. And it's this purpley type pink shade. I really, really enjoyed that quite a bit. And in fact, that Savvy lip gloss looks quite lovely over it. I'm not wearing it today, but it is a really nice one and wanted to let you Aussies know about Enoxa. Can you get Enoxa anywhere else? It's made in China, but on the label manufactured for heritage brands in Australia. I'm not sure if you can get Enoxa in any other countries, but for you Aussie girls who can pick this up at Priceline, this is a really nice shade from Enoxa. And then the very last favorite that I wanted to mention to you this month is a brand new home waxing system from Veet. This one was sent to me for review and I wanted to let you know about it. It, it does launch on the shelves on September 1, but Priceline had an early run on it. They've been selling it, I think, for the last couple of weeks for $29.99, but the regular retail is $39.99. Now, I don't have experience with home waxing, so keep in mind that I haven't tried a whole lot of different waxing products, but basically, it's a plug-in. It comes with a stand, and you plug the power plug into the side. It sits on the stand. It's got a wax cartridge inside it and these are replaceable. It comes with some wax strips which is enough for about one session I found of doing just below the knee waxing. But basically you put this cartridge into the machine you plug it in and you wait for 20 to 30 minutes and it heats the wax up just to the right amount that it's perfect for waxing, not too hot so you're not gonna burn your leg and it's just got a roller on the end and you just roll it in the direction of your hair apply a wax strip which do come with the kit but then you can buy extras as well and you you know just pull off the wax strip. So it's a really nice clean easy way to apply wax and I found that it was quite effective. I did need to do the same spot more than once to get all of my leg hairs but I will say that because I don't have experience with waxing at all I usually shave with a razor. My hairs for the first time are probably quite stubborn so I think as you probably use this product one go and it'd be pretty easy to use. This cartridge is enough for 
four sessions, one session being both legs below the knee. Not enough wax strips for those four sessions, so you will need to get more wax strips in order to use this cartridge for four sessions. They do say that it's effective on hairs as short as two millimeters long, and I would testify to that. And it says that skin remains impeccably smooth for up to four weeks. For me, that was not true, but again, I'm new to waxing. I think that time frame probably improves as you wax more and more down the track. So it does come with 12 non-woven strips, and additional strips are available separately. If you do get any wax residue left on your legs, it comes with four post-depilatory wipes to use and the cartridge that comes with the kit that you buy on the shelf is suitable for legs and arms and then there is also a separate cartridge that you can purchase with a smaller more precise roller and that one that smaller one is more suited for bikini line and underarms and I have not used that one yet so I did want to recommend this it's just a really nice clean way to wax at home and I have really enjoyed it it should be out on the shelves if you haven't already seen it fairly soon in the Australian market if you have used it and you do have comments down below let me know I'd also love to hear from anyone about what their favorite at home waxing product is as well as whether you're using it for legs underarms bikini line face whatever I'm pretty new to the home waxing wanted to let you know about this beat easy wax but also would love to hear from you guys about what your favorites are that is all my favorites for August I would love to hear from you what you've been enjoying this month let me know in the comments down below what you've really been enjoying I always love to hear from you thank you so much for watching hope you have a beautiful September and I hope you all have a beautiful day we'll see you all again really soon. Bye.